Weird snake. I have a friend that enjoys coding, and he hasn't stopped talking about a snake recently. He left this file on my computer and dares me to uncover a secret phrase, can you assist? So it says download and try to reverse the Python bytecode. And it gives you the documentation for the disassembler. All right, so I've downloaded that file and I have it here in my editor and I have put some comments off to the side. So basically this is a stack based architecture, much like the Java virtual machine or the .NET uh, framework, and you'll see that it's loading a bunch. So it's basically pushed a bunch of numbers on the stack, then it builds a list out of them, and stores it in the name input list. So that corresponds to basically this line of Python. We make a list with all the numbers that you see there in the parentheses. Um, these are kind of like line numbers, and each constant and variable has like a number associated with it as well. So name zero is input list, name one is key string. So we've got this big long list. Then we load J and store it in key string. So we get key string equals J. We load underscore and name and then we add them. So again, this is a stack based architecture. So we like basically push this, push this, pop them both and add them together. Then the result gets stored in key name. So that's key string equals underscore plus key string. Same thing again, they're sort of swapping the order here. So keystring is keystring plus O, keystring is keystring plus three, keystring is T plus keystring. Now we're going to load a code object, a list comprehension. So this list comprehension is actually down near the bottom of the file. So let's figure out where I am. So I'm around 75. So down at the bottom of the file, we have this list comprehension here, this line nine. So it builds a list, and it's gonna iterate over the list, and then it's going to store each item in the list into this variable called character. We load the function ord, we load the variable from character we call ord on the character, and append it to the output list. So in summary, this is basically the call ord car for each character in the list, and make a list of those results. So coming back up here, that's basically what they've done now. They've created that list of keyster, and so for each character in keyster, they're calling ord on the character. So basically they're getting the ASCII value for each thing in the keystring. Now we have another new structure here so we're going to do the length of the key list, the length of the input list. We have a comparison operator. So if length of key list less than length of input list is false, we jump to 162. So that basically says we jump to 162 if the length of the key list is at least as big as the length of the input list. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say key list dot extend and we pass it key list as a parameter. We're popping the top because we're ignoring the return value, jumping back up here. So this is a loop. And so this is our condition. So basically what the loop is doing is saying while the length of the key list is less than the length of the input list, we do this. So key list.extend key list. We have another list comprehension where we're going to zip input list and key list and pass it to the list comprehension um, down at the end of the file. So this one, each item is a two tuple, so that's the unpacking. So we're iterating over the list. We're unpacking into A and B, each two tuple. Then we load them, exclusive or them, and put them in the output. So in summary, it's A exclusive or B for each pair A, B, and L. And this L, as we saw up above, was the zip of input list and key list. So we get the result is A exclusive or B for A, B, and zip, which is basically creating a list of tuples with one item from input list and one item from key list. Then we are saying we're going to take the empty string, call uh, the join method is going to get called down here. 
with the function map cur result. So calling empty string join map of uh, the function cur and result. And then that gets stored into result text. So that's the whole file. So I've, I've put that into a little Python program. This is exactly what I walked through in the disassembly. So we run that and we get not so confusing snake. 